Today's fishing tip is great advice for Mandy and Ray to tell you so that hopefully you don't find this out from the conservation officer if you're doing it wrong. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of following the law when transporting bait from fishing back to dry land, dry land back to fishing, from, uh, from the bait shop to your boat, whatever it might be. If you're fishing with night crawlers or if you've got crawdads uh, in water, that's treated like minnows, but if you're fishing with night crawlers, crickets, grasshoppers, anything that comes in soil, there are no special restrictions. You can just put that in your truck, put it in your boat. When you get back from the fishing trip, you can put it right back into your truck and you're, you're just fine. If you have any water in your live well, you need to get rid of that before you leave the lake. You need to drain that dry and dry it out. And that's because of the villagers from the, a lot of the AIS things that can be spread through water. And so it's important to drain that very well and get rid of it. And Mandy's gonna talk a little bit about the critical part of transporting minnows from the bait shop to the boat back to your truck. Absolutely. You're at the bait shop, obviously bait's expensive. You wanna take care of it. Obviously, if you can, you wanna reuse it after you get off the water. My suggestion is to you, have a cooler ready, possibly with an aerator with water from home. So you take the minnows that you got from the bait shop, you put them in the cooler with the water that you brought from your home. You transport that to the lake, you put those minnows into your live well, into your minnow net, wherever you got those. When you get done at the end of the day, make sure that you net all of those minnows out and leaving the water that they were in, in the boat, from the lake, actually behind. You take those minnows, place them back into the water that you originally brought to the lake from your home, and you're good to go. For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.